So passive versus active investing. Which type of approach is best for you? So if you're doing passive investing, it's going to require way less time than if you're doing active investing. It's also going to require less effort than active investing. But it's probably going to yield less reward, obviously with less risk, than active investing. So which one should you do and what is best for you, right? Understand that passive investing doesn't require a lot of time, not a lot of effort. Less reward, less risk. Then if you go active investing, more time, more effort, more reward with more risk. Now, it's not because you want more reward that you do active investing. Because if you don't have the, the right amount of time to give to do, to do it properly and the right amount of effort to give to do it properly, you're just going to be taking on more risk without actually getting more reward. And you'll probably be doing less reward than just doing passive investing. And you would be spending time on top of it doing that. So in that case, it would be better for you to do passive investing. So don't do something that you cannot do. And that's the lesson here, right? So if you do not have too much time because you have too much stuff going on and you can't give it some time, and when I'm saying active investing, you can be active in terms of on a weekly basis. You can be active in terms of on a monthly basis, rebalancing, redoing your thing. You can be active on a terms of daily basis if you want, if that's if you have that time and energy. But if you can't even do it on a monthly uh, to a, a few months basis, then don't do it. And just do the passive investing, right? Because you'll end up doing this bad and you'll end up botching it and doing less return than just ha having done it as, as a passive investor. And not only that, you would have went through some, you know, stress and giving uh, time that you could have put it in elsewhere and all of that. So it wouldn't be worth it, right? It's like basically saying, I want to be, I want to play poker and I want to play poker against the pros. I'm too busy. I'm going to school. I'm doing work. Uh, I have kids and a family and I'm going on vacation and all of that. And I still want to play pro poker against the best because they play with a lot of money. So there's high reward and high risk. But I'm just going to lose all my money if I do that because I'm not on their level. I'm not giving it the time or efforts. What I should do is just play poker with some friends once in a while. Right? Yes, there's less reward, but it's also less risk. And I have the time, because it doesn't take a lot of time, to do it correctly. Right? So this is really going to depend based on each person. Obviously, if you're doing this, if you have the correct time, you're willing to put in the effort. Because you, you are going to have to sit down, see what's going on, read the news. If there's a new project or this project is not going. You know, that's some work. You know, not everybody likes to finish work and go home and start trading on cryptos. So if that's not something you want to do, go here, right? It has to be something that you want to do, right? Uh, so these are the two approaches. I'll let you guys decide on which one is best for you. And now let's get into the investing part.